We've talked about wikis a little bit before on the show, but because it's such a handy business tool that can actually save you a lot of time, I just wanted to take a second to go through them in a little bit more detail to show you how you can use them in your business. Now, the one I've got on the screen right now is called smallbusiness.com, and it's something that maybe more familiar, people are familiar with, and that's sort of more of an open wiki, one where everybody can access and change things on it. And what wikis are basically are just a very simple type of software that allow you to add, edit, change text on the page with very little knowledge of how to do HTML or any kind of programming or anything like that. So it's very easy to get up and started. You don't have to have any of that prior knowledge of how to create websites. But when you're using it for your business, you're probably going to want to create something that's more of a closed wiki, one that's only available and accessible to people in your business. Perhaps you want to use it for uh, some uh, working with one of your clients so you can trade information back and forth or with a bunch of people in within your company to work on a document that perhaps is quite long. I'll show you what one looks like here. This is quite a simple one. It's from StickyPad and this was a free service and all you do is basically import your text and you can easily go and edit it. And you can invite as many people as you want to come in and edit this. So instead of trading emails back and forth, attaching documents with red line and everything on it, you can just send everyone to this wiki page and they can collaborate right on the page to make the document, it's, to give the document its final form. It just saves a lot of time. You can also attach things to it, any kind of emails or files that will go with it, large uh, pictures so you're not emailing large files or having to create FTP sites. It just can save a lot of time. So the way to get one started would be to go to the site wikimatrix.org and on that site they have a full list of different wikis that you can choose from and a really really handy wiki choice wizard that is going to take you through the process it's only about I think five or six questions of what you're looking for in a wiki and it'll explain everything along the way but I'll show you one here that I really like and it's centraldesktop.com and the nice thing about this, it's a hosted wiki, meaning that you can get up and running within minutes. They have everything hosted right there for you. But this one is very powerful. There is a, there is a charge to use it, but it is well worth it. I'll show you quickly a wiki, a couple wikis I've created on here. So here's one I've created for a fictitious company. It's a business plan. And as, as you know, business plans are usually very, very long documents. They have a lot of different pages and a lot of people needing to look at it, lawyers, the different, uh, the different executives of the company, and so on and so forth. So you can go on here and create very quickly a wiki page that has all of the different pages, all of the different aspects of this business plan. And then you can go through and make changes and it'll show the recent activity, it'll show the actual document, it'll show how many changes have been made and who made those changes, any comments, you can add comments. So as you can see, there's a whole bunch of information that's created just in this one page and it's really easy to see what happened. So you can probably imagine how much time that's going to save you in the long run. They also have a nice feature in here, let's go back to the dashboard which is more of a project management page and I've created again another fictitious company and uh, as you can see it has everything from docs and discussions, tasks, milestones so you can again get everyone to collaborate right within this wiki page with all kinds of information, announcements, adding members, everything. It's just very very easy to get everyone involved in creating these wiki pages. So now that you know a little bit more about wikis, don't be afraid to give them a try for your business.